Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, a week ago, DJI put out this thing here, which has a bunch of people confused because we don't know if it means it's a drone. Is it maybe a new camera for the Inspire? Is it a different product? What the heck is it? And if it is a drone, is it a consumer grade hobby drone? You know, like the kinds we like to use from the Phantom on down to the Spark. Or would it be a commercial grade professional drone like the Inspire or the drones above that that are all out there for commercial construction or surveying? So many choices, so many options. Well, in this video, I'm only gonna focus on the hobby grade consumer drones from the Phantom on down, and maybe a little bit above the Phantom to try to guess exactly what it is. And I'm not just gonna guess by pulling it out the back of my rear end. I'm going to actually use a little bit of logic here to guess exactly what they're going to launch. And I'm sure if you guys think about it for a bit, you're gonna come up with the same logic, I hope. All right, so uh, when DJI announced this, I put out a poll to YouTube and I had 2000 responses in a very short amount of time and everybody put their guess in to exactly what type of drone they thought DJI was gonna launch. So let's take a look at that now. Out of the 2000 votes cast, 59% of them were for the Mavic Pro 2. So that makes it the number one choice by all of you. And for good reason. Coming in at number two with 13% of the vote was the Phantom 5. Now, we don't know if it's gonna be a Phantom 5 or a Phantom 5 Pro. I am quite certain that in the year 2018, we are gonna see the Phantom 5. Are we gonna see it in July? I don't know. I keep thinking it's gonna be like an October Phantom 5. Next, coming in with 11% of the vote is the Spark Pro. Yes, the Spark Pro. So many people want that drone. I, I am included in that pile of people that want the Spark Pro. Coming in at number four with 10% of the vote is the Mavic Air Pro. Yes, the Mavic Air Pro, that's the drone I spoke of in a video about a week ago. Uh, it is my take on the Mavic Pro. So we have the Mavic Air and we have the Mavic Pro. Why should DJI release a Mavic Pro 2 when they can release a Mavic Air Pro? Because they don't have a Pro model for the Mavic Air. The reason I state this is because way back to the Phantom 4, the Phantom 4 came out and it replaced the Phantom 3 Pro. So when the Phantom 4 came out, everybody thought it was better than the Phantom 3 Pro. And it was so-so, it was sort of comparable. It's sort of like the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro. And then DJI came out and released the Phantom 4 Pro which was released uh, around six or so months after the Phantom 4. And everybody went, what the hell, DJI? You know, it's been six months and you're releasing another product in the same category. So it could happen again with the Mavic Air Pro. Let's watch. And coming in at number five with 7% of the vote is none of the above, but rather a new class of DJI drone. And it's true, this could possibly happen. You see, DJI has not exhausted all of its price points. It has price points from $0 up to $2,000. It still has room for a new category of drone. And uh, it could be quite interesting what we actually see. I'm gonna show you the price points in a slide coming up in a short bit of time. Hang tight. So now, if DJI is going to release a hobby grade consumer drone, which one of those five might it be? Well, we're gonna to have to look at the actual pricing of those drones and a little bit of history to guess and narrow down to exactly which drone DJI is going to release. So um, let's think about it. If you take a close look at the DJI pricing scheme, you'll see that they love the number $300 US. The reason I say that is because if you look at their drones, their base model of drones when they're first launched, there's always a $300 US separation in pricing. So they'll launch a model here and then $300 more will be a new model. $300 more, another model. That's what they like to do. So if you look at that for a price category, and if you look at the price categories of drones across the US, Canada, and Europe, you'll see in US dollars, you'll see that DJI has room to launch maybe a new product, or is it getting competition within one of their price zones and they need to launch a new revamp product to stay dominant? Because remember, DJI has 70% of the drone market overall, globally. So uh, let's take a closer look. Here we go, I'm gonna put up a slide. So starting off, we have the $0 to $499 US price range. That is the space that DJI is going to use for any drone that is an introductory drone that is small in size that they want to sell to the mass markets of the world. Right now, the only drone they have in there is the Spark. 
Next, we get a little pricier. We jump up to the $500 to $799 price range. Well, in that price range, they've placed the Mavic Air. And for some strange reason, they still have the old, old, old Phantom SE in there. You can still buy it on their website, but that's not a new product. So we're just going to discount that for now. Then we move up to the $800 range to $1,099 range. And of course, in there we have the Mavic Pro. You know, the Mavic Pro launched at $999. And now we have the Mavic Pro Platinum at $1099. Next, we're going to jump up to the $1,100 range to the $1,399 range. And there, DJI has placed the Phantom Advanced. They have to place a drone in each of these price categories. So let's jump up to the next one. $1,400 to $1,699. In there, they've placed the Phantom Pro. And then finally, in the hobby consumer drone market, they still have one open, the $1,700 all the way up to $1,999 price range. That has not yet been used up by DJI, but I guarantee we're gonna see a drone in there, maybe not this year, but it's coming. There's gonna be some new class of drone in that price range. Now, anything above the $1,999 range is what DJI considers to be the commercial grade drones. So they could be professional commercial grade or just industrial grade. For us who like to fly the Spark all the way up to the Phantom, those are considered consumer grade drones and DJI sells one heck of a lot of those. So they're never gonna give those up. Okay, so now we know the pricing categories that DJI likes to use and um, we can see that they have a drone in each category, which is the way DJI likes to conduct business. And just to be clear, these drones that I've listed there, those are base model drones, not fly more combo packages, not plus models, but base models. So when you buy a drone, when it first comes out, there's a base model and there's a fly more combo package. The fly more combo package does not fit into these price categories. DJI doesn't care so much about that because that's just extra. You're willing to pay to get the base model. Now, if you've been around as long as I have, you know that when DJI places a drone on sale or reduces the price of a drone, that means that that drone is possibly going to be replaced or discontinued. So let's take a look at drones in the past three or four months that have been placed on sale or the price reduced. Which ones do we have? Well, let's take a look at our chart again. The Spark was $499 for the base model, but it's on sale at $399. The Mavic Pro is another model that's been placed on sale in the recent past. And a lot of us thought that price was going to last for a long time. It just seems to bounce up and down. Certain distributors still have it on sale, but if you look at the DJI website, it's not on sale. It's back up to $999. Interesting. So now we know the price categories that DJI uses and we see the drones that have been placed on sale in the recent past or had the price lowered. Well, that means the Spark and the Mavic Pro are looking like the two potential drones to be released on July 18th. I'm not saying they're both going to be released, but then again, I don't know. It could be one or the other. It could be both. They could both be released this year at some point. But before we go too far, let's take a look at exactly when these drones first came to market. That's going to tell us a lot more. So uh, let's pull up the chart again and take a look at that. Looking down the right hand side of our chart, we can see that the Spark was released in May 2017. That's over a year ago. It's pretty old and it is due for a replacement, but it's not as old as the Mavic Pro. Take a look at the Mavic Pro. That was released in September 2016. And take a look at the bottom, the Phantom 4 Pro. That was released in November 2016. Those two drones really need to be replaced. However, DJI will only release a drone if there's a demand for it. In other words, they can sell thousands and thousands of these drones. They're not going to make anything if they know they can't sell it. Uh, so there's got to be a demand. Uh, and the second thing is there has to be competition in their price category. So look at the price categories I've already mentioned and look at what the competition is in those categories. If I look at the Mavic Pro, the $999 range, you can see that we have the Autel Evo. Hey, that's good competition. Certainly it's only sold in the US, but it is competition nonetheless. And take a look at the price point of the Phantom 4 Pro. If DJI thought there was some competition there, the only one I can think of right now would be the unique Typhoon H Pro Plus, which is coming out with this little one inch sensor camera. Um, 
Does DJI think that's competition? If they do, well, then they might release the Phantom 5. But honestly, I don't see too much threat to any DJI products above the $1,000 mark. It seems like all the threats are $1,000 and less because we have the Parrot Anafi as well. You know, a Parrot Anafi is $699. DJI would love to just trump that drone with a $499 Spark Pro. It's competition and that's what DJI does. So having a look at our chart, we can see here that the three drones that are most probable to be launched on July 18th are the Spark Pro, the Mavic Pro 2, or the Phantom 5. Now I should also mention that if DJI launches a new drone, it would have to be $1,700 to $2,000 in price because that's the only price category they have not tapped yet. So if they launch a new drone at that price, well then, would you buy it? Well, apparently you would because a survey was done in the US uh, several years ago and they asked how much would you pay for a drone? Now this is not a survey of today. This is about three or four years ago. And back then it seemed like the majority of you said that you were willing to pay $1,000 to $2,000 for a drone. So DJI knows this and they have no problems making their drones expensive in that category. And that price range is probably not a big deal because when you look at the actual age group of who actually buys drones, so what age group buys drones? Well, honestly, surveys were done and it seems like it's the 32 year olds and up. All right, so I should say this. If you've watched the video this far, you know that today is the 22nd of June, the year 2018. That means everything I'm saying today, well, it's true. Now I should also state, being a long time guy in this business, that around July 11th, you're gonna start to see rumors of exactly what DJI is gonna launch on the 18th. Those rumors are actually gonna be true because that's when people start receiving the product and DJI does it on purpose because they love to ramp up anticipation. So they themselves will start leaking little bits of information here and there to get everybody excited about July 18th. So right now as we sleep, there's a bunch of little DJI elves making the little DJI drones in the little DJI factory so that when July 18th comes, on that day, you'll be able to hit that little either buy button or pre-order button and get your own whatever they're selling. And trust me, it's gonna be fantastic because it's from DJI and DJI will make so much hype about this product, whatever it is, that you're gonna want it. Even if you don't want it, you're gonna want it. So if you can get past the hype and look at it for what it is, well, then you can make an informed decision about buying it. Anyways, for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a little bit more about DJI and how they sell their products. And maybe you have a better guess at what's coming on the 18th. And if you have any information, by all means, post it below, post your thoughts below. Tell me what you think. What do you think DJI is gonna launch? And what would it take DJI to launch for you to buy something? So for now, I'll say if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see something funny, how I got this dent on my head, watch the previous video as a drone flew into my head. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.